Hello there, and uh, welcome to Metal Beer Review number 13. Mm. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be doing a, a new Belgian beer uh, that is brewed with Clutch, and I believe the beer is just called Clutch, and it is out of their Lips of Faith series, and I really thought that this was um, an Imperial Stout, like a sour Imperial Stout, but all the websites have listed as sour American Strong Ale or Wild Ale or something, so sadly I won't be able to... Um, do a uh, sneak peek of how many reviews I have in the bank to upload over the next several months, but um, maybe soon, maybe maybe soon. But um, this is getting a beer advocate score of an 83 in their good range out of 532 ratings, a rate beer score of 90 overall, 50 in the style out of 316 ratings, and an untapped score of 3.94 out of 5 out of 135 ratings for the 2016 vintage. Uh, it gets an average user score of 3.68 out of 5 on Beer Advocate and a weighted average of 3.54 out of 5 on Rate Beer. Uh, it's coming in at 8.5 ABV, um, which is right here on the bottle. And all the websites have it different because I guess it's been different over the years. Um, Beer Advocate has it 9.5, um, Rate Beer has it at 9, and um, the bottle and untapped have it right at 8.5. Um, they all have different IBUs as well. Um, Rate Beer has it at 19, Untapped has it at 17, so we're going with 17. Um, Rate Beer has it at 270 calories at their 9% ABV, so it's actually a little bit less than that. Um, I can't find a bottled on date on it. I have a um, Best Enjoyed by May 6, 2018. So just the fact that I like numbers to make sense, I would go to guess that it was bottled on November 6, 2016, given an 18 month shelf life. Uh, that's just my guess. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm saying. And uh, there are no variants of this beer that I could find on Rate Beer. So, uh, don't know where my light is today, so I won't be able to look in the glass. And I'm also uh, kind of sad it's not an Imperial Stout because I had some numbers I was working with, and this kind of works against that, but whatever. Uh, we'll get to my goal one of these days before I can drink a beer mm -hmm. at a certain number. So, oh, it's pretty dark. Mm, I've got a finger hit on that pour. Get coffee up front. Definitely getting those fruity, funky notes there on the end, back end of it. And a nice maltiness. Um, I forgot to read what's on the bottle here. It says, uh, Pure Rock Fury meets Belgian style brewed, brewed folly in this collaboration with Maryland Hard Rockers Clutch. A pronounced baseline of dark chocolate coffee and black malts bridge the sourness of our dark wood ale for a fluid riff. So. I'm not a huge Clutch fan. I haven't listened to them a lot, but they I do enjoy what I have heard of them, I guess. But maybe I need to give them more of a chance. Um, but yeah, I guess they've been, they've been brewing this beer since at least 2011 because that's when it was added to Beer Advocate, and I've never seen it before. So I picked this up. I think it was it was kind of pricey. I'm pretty sure it was like sixteen dollars, fifteen or sixteen dollars. So um, let's give it a try and see what, what happens. Hmm, interesting. It's pretty mellow on the, you know, not a huge tartness, but like chocolate is definitely um, on the forefront of the taste, but you definitely get sourness at the end. Definitely different. It's like a chocolate covered cherry cordial or something. Not too bad. I'm gonna sip on this for a little bit. This shouldn't take me too long to drink, but I mean, it's pretty nice looking beer in the glass. I gotta say, um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna sip on this for a little bit and uh, see where it ends up. Well, I'm back. I got a little bit of this beer left, and um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it's not anything that you know knocked me out of my seat or anything, but uh, it was an enjoyable beer to drink. 
um, pretty well balanced. Um, not super sour, um, not super smoky or malty. Um, it was just a, it was a, just a different kind of beer. So, um, you know, I'm not blown away by it, but I'm not disgusted by it either. <laughs> so that is good. Um, got a little bit of this beer left. You have nice tartness, roastiness. Um, yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm gonna give this about a five out of seven and put it at a probably around 83, 84 uh, numerically in my B range. Um, I'd like to see the price go down a little bit on it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Outtake. Uh, but uh, that'd be my only complaint. Oh goodness! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah. So B for me. I uh, don't know if I'd pick this up again just out of um, you know the price or whatever, but uh, it it was <laughs> it wasn't a bad beer. Uh, I don't really edit any crap out of my videos, so you guys are gonna enjoy this as much as I have. So um, B for me. I've got uh, one other metal beer review to do here pretty soon, and I'm really excited about it, and uh, I hope you stick around and watch it. It's going to be kind of a, it's going to have to be metal beer review number 14 and imperial stout review number whatever, so you'll get a, I'll talk about what kind of beers I've been reviewing for my imperial stout stuff in it, and kind of give you an update on the archive of um, imperial stout reviews I have in the bank to release one at a time over the next several months. So um, I hope you stick around for that and I thank you as always for watching and uh, I appreciate every one of you. So um, this is just a fun little hobby for me and I just want to share it with other people in my hide in my room and do not be bothered by anybody self. So uh, thank you very much and I will see you soon.